Hey, Sun here. I'm a privacy and security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. Um, I haven't published in about a year or maybe a little less. For those of you who know me, that's not unusual. I usually kind of fall in a rabbit hole or get into something. Well, for the past two years, I've been working on Superbact and for the past year, I've been really deep into it. So for those of you who don't know what Superbact is, Superbact is an app that one uses to create encrypted paper backups such as these. It can be a one of one, but it can also establish a system of governance where you need, for instance, two of three of those um, in order to have access to the underlying data, always plus a passphrase. Why is this something that I have spent so much energy on over the past two to three years? Well, everything's kind of becoming more and more encrypted and the blockchain, maybe you like it, maybe you don't, um, has really put a dent in the universe. It's something that I don't think is going away. And I also think that the idea behind Bitcoin, for instance, of being one's own bank comes with a whole bunch of caveats, some of which Superbank addresses. But it's also a very empowering idea. It's something that I believe uh, would um, give us a great level of sovereignty. Um, but anyways, long story short, um, a few years ago, you may have noticed that I released Superback uh, and there was a price uh, tag attached to it of about 150 US dollars. Um, many of you totally embraced that and supported the project. Uh, actually, people purchased the app uh, in, I believe, a little more than 22 countries around the world, which is really amazing, actually. Um, but a lot of you or at least people on the internet were um, found that kind of outrageous. Um, and this episode is not about, you know, should this kind of work be paid for or whatnot. Um, Superbact is now free. So I'm just gonna pull the plaster right, right off. Um, some of you, patrons, decided to support the project um, and really saw its value and wanted to help me make it available to everyone. And that's what we've done a few months ago. I was super busy. I didn't have a chance to announce it on the channel, um, but I am so relieved to be able to do super back for the right reasons and to be 100% aligned with my moral compass. I never liked the idea of charging for the app. I hated the idea of the app's source code not being available for you guys to audit. Um, it was always possible to look into the source code once you had purchased the app, but that was kind of like a very uncomfortable place to be. And, and some of you actually went through the trouble of creating um, some clones. Um, so there are some super bad clones now. I think there's two at least that hit my radar. Um, but why those clones came to exist was mostly a reaction to that price and to the fact that the source code was opaque. Those two things are now in the past. So I would definitely encourage you to go on the website and have a look. Um, and if you wanna download Superbact and use it yourself, we have Linux app image releases for both uh, ARM and Intel. ARM uh, is in the context of Raspberry Pis, for instance. Um, we also have an Apple uh, Silicon or Intel release and Superbact OS uh, is a project that I am really proud of. We needed a way, and we all need a way for sensitive use cases to run Superbact in a way similar to Tails. Um, a way where there is no data persistence on the hard drive, a way where when you unplug the USB stick, everything is forever gone from that specific computer, a way where the computer is intended for offline archival air gapped use cases. Um, and that's pretty hard to achieve. And in the context of Tails, it works. But the problem with Tails, which by the way, I love, is that printer support is living hell. And in the context of generating paper backups, well, obviously one needs uh, a printer. So that's why I took Ubuntu and I tailored it to an amnesic use case, such as running Superbact. Um, and I'm so, so, so excited to also make Superbact OS available to everyone for free. Now, there are no caveats. This is actually free. 
Um, it's not open source. We're still thinking about the governance of the project given its sensitive nature. We want to be very careful of all kinds of fringe uh, things that we might run into, one of which is people creating super bad clones that have uh, malicious intents behind them, maybe people trying to um, commercialize super back alternatives or even apps that look like super back, um, but that they actually want to use those to exfiltrate secrets, uh, which may include mnemonics in the context of tri cryptocurrency. So, um, so yeah, we're not sure exactly what we're going to do, but the whole source code, if you go here on the website and you click on the GitHub repository icon here, um, the whole source code is now source available for you guys to review. And when I'm saying for you guys to review, I really mean it. I'm looking to put together a group or a team of super guardians. So super guardians are senior cryptographers, software developers, DevOps, uh, smart technologists, a senior group of people that use Superback themselves and want to participate together uh, to defend it from all kinds of threats, uh, which may include cybersecurity threats, uh, but all kinds of other threats. Uh, and, and that actually, if you go on the website, you'll see that there's a place, join team, there's a bunch of open roles. Uh, we are not a company that can afford to pay uh, Silicon Valley type salaries at all. Um, to be honest, we're contemplating creating the Superback Foundation uh, so that Patrons can actually support us moving forward on like a 10, 20, you know, 100 year time scale. If, if you have the means to help, please consider donating uh, and please get in touch. Uh, but nonetheless, there are a few roles that, you know, uh, are super helpful for me to kind of get more bandwidth and scale this. One of which is Super Guardian, which is unpaid. So if you want to help and you're a complete cybersecurity or OPSEC nerd, please, please look at that role and uh, apply. Now back to GitHub, uh, you could totally start a repo, by the way, that would help. Um, but everything is here, including how we provision super backed OS, which is essentially a way of tailoring, you know, Ubuntu. So um, that's like everything super backed, except for a demo. Um, and now the master plan, which is, I am so pumped by the master plan. The master plan is this idea of developing a network of super backed operators all around the world. Super backed operators are institutional custodians, attorneys, notaries, wealth managers who can custody one block part of a block set. And what that means is if you're worried that you might, you know, get in a car accident and you want your five year old to inherit your Bitcoin 20 years from now, well, it might not be the immediate people in your family that are going to be able to help. You may need to have some institutional custodian that will be part of the recovery scheme. And that's why I created Superback in the first place. I imagined a future where attorneys, notaries and wealth managers could have a block, could help us establish wills or trusts and could help our families recover. And this is not just for crypto. It might be your Mac that is encrypted because you're watching those episodes of the privacy guides and you believe in privacy. It might be those family pictures on your computer. It might be that book that you've never published. It might be that source code. It might be those algorithms. It might be access to master accounts on AWS with hardware security modules. It might be whatever you need to put in a dematerialized vault and establish a governance scheme around it that involves institutional custodians. I mean, I have shivers. This, this concept is so empowering in this day and age. Um, so yeah, if you're an attorney, a notary or a wealth manager and you wanna be part of that future and your value system is spot on and you really wanna care for your people, get in touch. If you go on the website, there's actually a whole new page here called Become an Operator that is there for you to apply. I want to get to know you. I think if we can develop an ecosystem around Superbact with Super Guardians that safeguard the integrity of this for the next hundred years, with a whole bunch of ambassadors and technologists that start to onboard their family members on Superbact, 
with a bunch of attorneys and notaries and wealth managers all over the world that custody blocks for us, um, we're truly putting a dent in personal technological sovereignty. And that means the world to me. So again, a few call to actions. Please jump into uh, the universe of Superbact and try it out for yourself. All you have to do is go on the website, download it. Superback, the app itself, which you may have seen, ha hasn't changed much. I mean, it's obviously, it's been hardened, it's been, you know, made made better, but essentially you go here and you can type anything you want, including master passwords to your password managers uh, or mnemonics from your hardware wallet, obviously for anything where the secret is not on the computer, you need to use a separate computer that is air-gapped and that's what Superback OS is for. And I'll have a whole bunch of episodes about this on this channel and on the Superback YouTube channel. Um, so essentially you put a secret, then you wanna put a passphrase, and if you put a really bad one, it won't even let you create uh, a paper backup. So uh, you can also use this to generate a random one, which will essentially take centuries to brute force. And then if you say standard, it's a one of one. If you say distributed, it's a two of three. It all goes all the way to four of seven for really sophisticated use cases. Uh, and then if you set, uh, click create, it then generates a set of blocks. You can decide how many you print. The normal use case is for all heirs to have the same copy of this number one block. Second can go in a safe deposit box if you have those in your country. Or, uh, and the third goes to a super backed operator, which is something that I'm like, I've been working on. I gave a bunch of talks. Um, these professionals are so essential to the future that we're in right now. Um, but at the same time, so risk averse. So we really need to find the pioneers that want to develop this alongside Superbact. So if that's you, you know, please get in touch, go on the website, see what's up. Um, I'm super excited to be back. I'm going to be publishing a whole bunch of episodes to kind of bring you along the past few years of research and development essentially, and talk about all kinds of crazy things special USB flash drives that have read-write uh, protection, uh, special NVMe disks that have something called Opal, which allows them to be set to read-only. Did you know that NVMe disks, some of them can be set as read-only? Uh, I didn't. So there's a whole bunch of things that I'll share. Also, I'm gonna be sharing a lot of insights on how to use Superback privately and securely, and that will, I think, really open up our minds to how private and secure computing works. So. Glad to be back, exciting times ahead. Um, smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one, bye.